When my grandma first told me about Peter, and I was super excited for her until she told me about his age, and then I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Peter's only two years older than me. It freaks me out a little bit. A week later, my grandma told me that he lived in Nigeria, and I told her she was most definitely being played. I'm not even sure what this guy's name is. First it was Peter, then it was Pelvin, then it was Elvin. My grandma's totally became a different person. She's been dyeing her hair more frequently, listening to rap music, she wants to get her nails done, tanning more frequently. She even recently asked me where I think she should get a boob job. I was like, you're 60 years old, you don't need a boob job. A few months ago, she was talking to me about their sex life. And I was like, grandma, that's completely impossible. He lives in Nigeria, there's no way y'all can have a sex life. And then she sent me an article on how internet relations are real relations. At first I thought it was really funny, but the more I thought about it, it made my stomach turn. I really hope that Dr. Phil can stop my grandma from going to Nigeria, because if she goes there, she's gonna die. Well, I've added Sandy's granddaughter, Maddie. Uh, she's joining us, and I wanted, she's been listening to everything that's been going on. You agree that this is a bad idea yes. for your grandmother to go to Nigeria to a place that the State Department says flat out, don't go. Yeah, it's a terrible idea. Why do you think it's a terrible idea? I think if she goes to Nigeria, she could be kidnapped, she could be killed, held yeah. for ransom. Now, I don't know how much you know about me, but I've spent a lot of my career in the area of deception detection. As I listen to him, uh, it was like there was a big flashing red light over his head that he's not telling the truth and does not have your best interest at heart. I'm fully convinced you're going and I, I just want you, when this comes down around your ears, at least somebody that's not your daughters, that doesn't have a vested interest here, will have told you that I think this is really a foolhardy thing to do. I think he is not. I, I think it is not commonsensical that he wants to get in a relationship with somebody three times his age that he's never met. If he really loved you, he wouldn't accept money from you. He wouldn't allow you to come to a high crime area when he has no job and no ability to provide for you. Mm -hmm. You can get over there and be on the streets homeless. And let me assure you, that is not pretty. And I'm telling you, in my professional opinion, that is not genuine and you should not go. And I plead with you not to go. At least have the good, the, the good reason to meet him on neutral ground somewhere. Mm -hmm. TJ, as a Nigerian, tell me, am I giving her good advice to not come there, don't go to that neighborhood, don't meet up with this kid? Yeah, I mean, I, I love my country, and um, it's a wonderful place to be. But in this case, Dr. Phil, you are giving her the right advice. Would you let your mom or sister go to that neighborhood alone? I wouldn't go to that neighborhood alone. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm not going to go. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I want you to stay safe. I understand. I know when to stop talking. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.